Jeremy right here. In this video, we're going to focus on the features of the Follow Me tool. And we're going to demonstrate two workflows that the Follow Me tool uses. Here we have a floor plan in SketchUp. And I'm going to unhide the two sets of profiles that we're going to use the Follow Me tool on. One representing the walls and one representing the roof. And you can see that what we have is just a face that we're going to be using as a perimeter, and then another face that we're going to be using to sweep around this perimeter. Now the profile that we're using for the walls and roof it's just a simplified version of a wall section that we've basically traced out the profile of. And we've extended the top part of the roof out much farther than it would go because when we sweep this around the perimeter we want it to intersect with itself and you'll see what I mean when we actually get to that part of the lesson. So let's start with the wall. We're going to edit this group that contains the profiles. Now for the first workflow, what we're going to do is select the face we want to use as the perimeter. And you can see the face is selected. Then we're going to go up to the Follow Me tool choose it and then we're going to click on the face we want to use and now we have a wall and you can see that this vertical distance of the perimeter wasn't important but you usually don't want it to be touching you want it to be some distance away so we're going to back up a step. I'm going to move this above it. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to select the face. Go to the Follow Me tool. Select the face we want to do the following. And there we go. And once you're done with this profile, you can just select it all and then delete it. Now for our second example, we'll work on the roof. Now here's our profile that we want to use to follow the roof face. Now in this example, we're going to select the Follow Me tool first, then come down, select the face, we want to follow the perimeter, then come down to the perimeter and carefully trace along the lines that we want to use until we get to our beginning point and then click. And you can see the point of dragging out that long end of the roof was so that they would intersect with each other. And now all you really have to do is go in and do a little bit of cleanup on the inside, deleting these interior faces that we only used to give the profile some shape. And are no longer needed so we want to get rid of them but we don't want to delete the other faces that we actually need and just keep working your way around until you're all finished 
And now all we have are the faces that we want. And they're all intersecting with each other. But we have a lot of stuff that we want to delete. So what we need to do is select this whole mass of geometry by clicking on any one face three times. So we're going to go click, click, click. It selects everything. From there we can right click, come down to the intersect option, and select intersect selected. And now you can see that there are intersect lines where these faces touch each other. Now we can just go in here and select and delete the faces that we don't want. And as before, we no longer need this profile, and we can delete it. So now we have walls and a roof.